Hi, I'm Jeff Wolf from the SOI Industry Consortium. I'm here with Dave DeHarney from Cadence, and we're at the Design Automation Conference in lovely Anaheim, California. Uh, Dave, this has been a, a good conference, and I, I think it's, it's good timing for Cadence with SOI, I think. Uh, we've got the SOI portal that we talked about here at the chipestimate.com booth, and, um, and you're very active in the design tool uh, area with, with SOI. What, what sort of applications are you seeing that uh, are having people uh, consider SOI as a good solution? Yeah, that's a good question. So what we're seeing in the application of SOI is, you know, in a few areas in particular, networking. Anybody that's looking for really high performance designs or low power trying to address leakage, anybody of that um, sort of persuasion looks at SOI for those advantages. And, and companies that are doing networking, for example, would be a natural application for that um, in the high-end uh, communications area. But we've seen a lot of traction in things like uh, rad hard design for military applications. We've seen it in the automotive industry for things like uh, high voltage design, because that's actually very common. And they need a way to be able to address those factors in the design process. And a bulk CMOS doesn't cut it for those applications as well as SOI does. So um, what is Cadence doing about all this opportunity? Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity. We do see it increasing. Um, in terms of supporting the customer, because one of the things that people have to you know, deal with is what does it mean to move to an SOI process? What changes in my flow? Is it realistic to go from a bulk CMOS process to something like SOI? And how long does it take? What are the risks? So we've tried to take that, that uh, problem or the risk out of the equation. And we've done that through a number of ways. Um, first of all, we, we, we wanted to pull the IP vendors into a central location. You can see behind me, chipestimate.com is a portal for SOI IP or intellectual property. So people have access, ready access to the IP that they would need for SOI. Second of all, we've been able to bring a design hub factor together as well. And this is bringing together the ecosystem or the design chain that's required for developing SOI chips. This comes from the libraries, from, from the process, from the expertise, the methodology, the design rules, the files, everything you would need to have an SOI infrastructure built, uh, we provide that through the Design Hub. We just announced that a couple of days ago, so cadence.com, and you'll find the Design Hub for SOI on there. Um, in addition to that, we've done training and jumpstart trainings for, for uh, IP vendors, for example, that want to get into the SOI uh, IP business, for example, so they need to understand what changes. And so as we've done that, we've started it now, again, launched it a couple of days ago, we've seen a, a, one of our lead customers go through it now, start to work in that environment, and like I said, everything is there, ready to go. So it basically takes it out of the province, or SOI takes, it. effectively, we take SOI out of the province of simply IDMs or high-end, you know, uh, high-end uh, fabulous semiconductor companies and make it available to everybody so that they can get the advantages of that leakage uh, reduction and the performance benefit. Great. Thanks very much, Dave. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Cadence, for uh, hosting uh, our SOI portal on chipestimate.com.